Hello everyone, let's start with chapter 2 relations and function. So in this case we need to study about relations first. So we have some real life examples for relations such as brother sister we can say and we can say father son or father daughter we can say father we can say mother sister or mother son or mother daughter there are many relations so you can see they always exist in pair like whenever we say that there is a relation between this and this so they always exist in pair so whenever we talk about pair that means there is some relation between these two or any two so if i say that we have to multiply or we can say it is a cartesian product in the case of relations is like suppose we have one a as a b and we have b as 1 comma 2 now in this case whenever we multiply these we need to multiply a with 1 but it should be written as a 1 now the second one it will be with respect to 2 so a comma 2 now the next one b with 1 we don't need to multiply them with 1 or so but we need to write it in the form of x comma y so it is b comma 1 now in the second one it will be b comma 2 so this is the set or we can say this is a cartesian product whenever we need to take the product we need to take the first number and the first number of second set so a comma 1 the first term with second so a comma 2 then b comma 1 then b comma 2 so this is cartesian product now if you need to verify your answer for same so suppose we have n a n a means a has how many elements in it is 2 now times it with n b n b again has 2 elements in it so 2 into 2 is 4 now you can see that a cross b or a product b is 4 it should have 4 ordered pairs in it now what ordered pair it is uh, so ordered pair has two elements in it like in this case we have b comma 2 so this will be considered as ordered pair when we have uh, when we have close bracket so whenever we have close bracket they have to be considered under ordered pairs now starting with question number 1 exercise 2.1 so it says if x plus 3 plus 1 comma y minus 2 by 3 equals 5 by 3 and 1 by 3 so now we have we have here our ordered pairs so therefore we can say the first value equals the first value of second and the second value of first equals second so it will be x over 3 plus 1 equal 5 over 3 now x over 3 equal 5 over 3 we need to bring 1 to this side so it will be minus 1 now we need to take LCM of it so 5 over 3 minus 1 into 3 1 into 3 so it will be 5 minus 3 over 3 it will be equal to 2 over 3 now we have x over 3 here on the left hand side so 3 and 3 gets cancelled we have x equal to now the second one we have is y minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3 now we need to bring minus 2 by 3 to the right hand side so it will be y equals 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 so this will be 3 over 3 equals 1 so y value is 1 to this 